how to change the colors. So for example, as you see here right now, I have one selected, so I will select clear selection. As you see here right now, we have uh, the states, the highways, and the cities, and all of them have similar colors that we cannot differentiate between them. So what we need to do is to change the colors, so what we call symbology, to make it more visible for us. So we're going to leave the state green the way it is, and we're going to come to the highways. We're going to double click on the line itself right here, not like here. If I double click here, it's not going to it's going to open the properties of the layer, but I have to double click on the symbology itself. And I'm just going to change the color. The color. I'm going to make it blue. I'm going to change the width of it to 1.5. And there's so many options here that we can select from. Uh, I will let you check all the options here to play with it and do edit samples. But uh, in another lesson, uh, there's a lesson called Symbology. We will go in depth uh, for how to change the symbology of the polygons, the points, and the lines. So here we're just showing an example of how it will look like. Now we have the lines more visible for us, and it's a little bit thicker, and it looks in blue. Now we have the cities kind of hidden because it's uh, green. So let's go and change the cities as well. And because this is a point symbology, uh, we can be able to select a different kind of symbology other than lines. So, for example, I'm going to select the circles, and I'm going to change the color of it to red. And click OK. Now I have my cities, my states, and my highways in different colors. Uh, I'm going to change the, the width of this line to 1 again, because it looks a little bit thick. So now if I go full extent again and zoom to the US, it's going to show in a much better way than we we saw it in the beginning. Now we can see the states in green, and you can see the, the lines and uh, the highways in blue, and you can see the cities. So this is basically the symbology. Oh, and just for the purpose of seeing how it will look like, let's change the state to be uh, light blue. And we can select, and we can also change the outline. So here we change it all the states to have blue, but we cannot see the difference between the states because we didn't change the outline. The outline is the line around it. So uh, here, let's change the outline width to 0 0.1 and make it all black. And the outline is the line around C. These lines have changed it. Now I can see the states separated. If I put the highways back again, going to be in blue. If I put the cities again, it's going to be in red. This one is a little bit big, so let's make it like 10 instead of 18, so it looks a little bit smaller. And this is how we change it, this symbology. Let's save our MXD. And then, at the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to arcgismastery.com and you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses, starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what Esri do. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.